All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to my live stream, Opie Unleashed in NYC. It's very dramatic, the title. Oh, my goodness. That means he's really crazy as he walks around New York City. First of all, um, find myself on, uh, I guess, Midtown Manhattan. Uh, my son has a bot, or is it a bar mitzvah today? So I dropped him off there, and you know, I gotta kill an hour. So I said, you know what? Why don't I find myself a cup of coffee, turn on the, uh, the live stream, and see what's going on in this area. I actually have a pretty good idea where we're gonna end up. So if you wanna stick with me, I think I got a pretty cool location to get to. And I'll say this, my morning's off to a terrible start because of this this not a fan of the Starbucks whatsoever but where I am in Midtown here there's no little uh, coffee shops so let's say a boo a boo to the Starbucks but the kid needs his coffee he's a caffeine fiend so I gotta do it First sip, uh, and of course it's uh, it's burnt. The coffee's burnt. Flip the camera. Vampire housewife. I will. I usually show myself in uh, reflections, man, to keep it artsy. But how's everybody doing? Hope you're doing good. Hope you have a better cup of coffee than this. A oh, boo! Not a fan of the Starbucks. I think Dunkin' Donuts has better uh, coffee than the Starbucks. I think that Wawa has better coffee than the Starbucks. I'm gonna like, as soon as I, I know I, had, I, I got enough caffeine in me, I'm just gonna toss this thing. Get your green on. Get your green on. Oh, there's one of my, <laughs> I shouldn't make fun. The juice generation, the juice generation is where it's at. Big fan, big fan of the juice generation. Big fan. Although their prices have gotten out of hand, so I make a lot of smoothies at home. Oh, you don't need to know that? Oh, okay. Oh, I could have got coffee at Paris, uh, Baquette. All I had to wait, all I had to do was wait like two blocks and I would have had a better cup of coffee. You like the Dunkin' Ice coffee? Hell yeah. I never thought I would say that Dunkin' Donuts had better coffee than Starbucks, but that is absolutely the case. Walk over to third, murals at 49 and 48. What kind of murals? Tell me what kind of murals before I get there. What kind of murals on the 49 and 48 on the third? All right, let's go. You know, I like, uh, I like making these live streams interactive, so. All right, I'm gonna do what that guy said. We could go off track for a minute or two. Why not? You were a Starbucks, uh, a Starbucks fan for uh, forever? You know, so was I when they first came around. Because all we had was that, uh, the coffee in the Greek cups. Uh, I'm going way old school for people, but there was a time all you could do is get coffee at like a diner in a Greek cup and it was terrible. Then Starbucks came onto the scene and blew the whole coffee thing out, out, of, out of the water. But then I don't know what they did. I think they realized that people want a lot of sugar in their coffee drinks so they didn't really care about the actual coffee drinkers that really appreciate. Ooh. We talked about that on the live stream very recently. Uh, they're just smoking pot openly in New York City. Uh, people have, doing, have been doing that for a very, very long time. Yeah, and then they realized uh, people just want sugar, sugary drinks, so we don't care about the, the actual quality of a regular cup of coffee anymore. That's what I think, that's my opinion. Don't sue me, big corporation. I think you're still allowed to have an opinion in 2023. 
Another giant building going up. Oh, Pete's coffee's good. Thoughts on Pete's coffee? Pete's coffee is good. But the problem is, look, man, I don't care how much money you make. None of us wants to feel like they're uh, being uh, ripped off. Um, bag of coffee. I, I got a, I got a, what was it? 18 ounce bag of Starbucks coffee from CVS the other day. As much as I hate Starbucks, they keep entering my stupid life. They won't leave me alone. Uh, although I find when I make the Starbucks at home, it tastes a little better. Um, it was $18. So yes, I like Pete's. I do like uh, Starbucks when I can make it at home, sure. But at this point, what I do is I just, I just uh, buy whatever is on sale. Cause I ain't paying eighteen dollars for a bag of effing coffee. All right, we're going to the murals, I guess. I used to do Turkish coffee, but my sixty-three-year-old stomach can't do it anymore. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> oh, God bless you. That Turkish coffee uh, will keep you honest. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Why are the streets so empty? It's early. The weird thing about New York, uh, people get going a lot later. It's early still. Oh, wait. Did I go the wrong way? Thank you, sir. Oh my God, thank you, sir. I'm embarrassed. Look at, look, you guys are controlling where I'm going. Guy said you're going the wrong way and I turned around. It's kind of creepy that you guys could do this. All right, let's go this way. Dang, that's crazy. What, the $18 for a bag of uh, coffee? It's ridiculous. It's just coffee. All right, let's make this light because now we're late. Not late, but... I gotta show you guys something soon, or you guys tap out. I know how this works. Oh, the Chrysler building, though. There's the Chrysler building. Little story about the Chrysler building. Let me let me uh, get out of the bike lane so I don't get hit by these guys. There's the Chrysler building. You see. Uh, Obviously, you see the point, and if you bring the point down just a little bit to, la to the last bit of space, and there's a very, very tiny window right before the actual spire, right? You see all that? Um, I was in that, illegally, with a guy named uh, Moses Gates. If you go on my YouTube channel right now, OP Radio and put in the search Chrysler Building OP Radio, you will see me hanging out in that tiny crawl space right below the spire. We got in and out of the building with no one noticing, and it was absolutely amazing. Uh, amazing. It was, uh, it's something I think about quite often. It was one of those once in a lifetime things. All right, let's head down here. Ah, oh, God, this coffee stinks. I'm so distracted by, by, by my, by my, I should say. Oh my God, it's making me stammer though. I guess it's uh, strong. Distracted by this bad cup of coffee. All right, so I'm going to set to go down a third to check out some murals. Look, if I'm wandering around and you know where I am and you got somewhere you want me to go to show you, that's fine. If I got the time, I'll do it. I like making these interactive. Best part of New York is when you're leaving. Are, are you, yes. Yes. 
A hundred percent. Oh, we got the Smith and Walenskis coming up. All right, I'll show you a little something. They're still mopping up Christmas here in New York. You know, a lot of these decorations, it, it takes a lot of effort to put them up, so they decide to keep them up a little longer. But I'm telling you, this is one of the best steak places in all of New York. I, I, but that's kind of dumb. There are so many really good steak places in New York City. But this right here is a staple. Smith and Walensky's. Steaks and chops. From, uh, what does it say? Since 1977. So they've been there 46 years. So that's Smith and Walensky's. All right, where are the murals? Where the heck are the murals? Somebody told me to come down third for murals, and I don't see no murals. Oh, what is this guy talking about? Turn around? Why am I turning around? Now you're confusing the hell out of me. How's the rat situation? It's really bad. I just went and watched the Chrysler Building video. Crazy. Thank you. Yeah, man. I don't know how we didn't get... I know how we didn't get caught. Quick story. I've told this story many times, but Moses Gates, urban explorer, he's now retired because uh, he went back to the Chrysler Building with some other people to give him the same experience. And... Uh, oh, okay. Here's a mural. And um, he got arrested. And I think that's when he started tapping out of urban exploring. Oh, okay, this is awesome, actually. All right, this wasn't a waste. But basically, uh, Moses Gates, um, I'll show you the mural in a second. Moses Gates found a dentist in the Chrysler building. So that's how he got past security, because he had a dentist appointment that I don't think he made that day. Look at this. Look at that. Now, this is something I've never seen in New York City before. That's why I like doing these live streams, because you guys turn me on to stuff. That is an awesome mural. That Yes, that's killer. Peace equals heart squared. I like that. There's a little love in there. A little love. Artist named Cobra. Thank you. Yeah, the artist should get some credit. You know, I'm, I'm blown away by artists in general. People that can paint, draw. But then, how do they do it to this scale? That's what amazes me. He has a few around the, uh, the city. All right, very cool. Einstein on a bike, love it. Yeah, right on, man. That is awesome. So Moses had the uh, dentist appointment, so that got us through security, and then he knew what to do from there. We went into stairwells. We got into a, a door that might have been, might have been locked. He might have had some tools at the time. I think I could say some of this stuff now because it's been so many years. And then we had to climb up a tiny, tiny red ladder. There were a whole bunch of little red ladders. We had to climb up them. And then we finally got to the section that I was showing you on the video a little earlier of the, uh, the tiny crawl space right below the actual spire. It was crazy. It was cray cray. Look at this. Got the avenue to myself. I want to show you another. Ah, uh, oh, the scaffolding. The damn scaffolding is covering it a little bit, but we'll get a little taste. Hey, man, thanks for showing me this. I'm supposed to be showing you guys stuff, but thank you. That's pretty cool, too. Actually, it kind of works with the scaffolding, don't you think? Go back to 49. Wait, I could trust RJ Hitters. Why am I going back to 49? Where am I going? RJ, I'm focused just on you right now. Where am I going? We got some snow flurries. Very light uh, flakes in the area today. He said to go back to 49. I am. Oh, that. Oh, geez. I didn't even see that. Oh, that's why you said turn right. Oh, my God. Beautiful. 3,400 likes. If you like this next mural, I'm going to put a goal for myself, even though I don't know, uh, I don't know what uh, the likes get me. But if you like this mural, 
you have respect for firemen, then hit that like button and let's get up to 5,000 likes, all right? Or just enjoy the mural. I don't, I don't feel like pressuring you to give me likes. Here's the big reveal. Let me get over here. RJ, that's hilarious. I walked right by this and RJ was going, turn right! And if I would have turned right at the time, I would have saw this amazing piece. Wow. Wow. Nothing but respect. We got 9-11 stuff all over the city. I'm a firefighter. Love it. What's up? Hey, leader. How are you, brother? That's for you and your brothers right there. Oh, my God. That's an amazing piece. And it's Cobra with a K. Someone said the artist is Cobra, and they spelled out Cobra with a C, but it's with a K. Let me just, uh, let me let me keep this shot for another, I don't know, let's do another minute here. Wait, RJ, this is your building? No shit. You see it every day. Well, I don't think that gets old. That is awesome. That is awesome. I mean, you know, the reason why it's here is said, but you want to talk about artwork. That is, like, that is awesome. Yeah, awesome coming in a lot. Took a screenshot? Good, man. Yeah, screenshot this shit. Here, go ahead, screenshot. I'll give you like five more seconds. You guys good? All right, and here's the artist's name, Cobra. Oh my God, that is amazing. There's Cobra, that's the artist. Uh, RJ, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I was right here. I gotta show you, so I was focused on Smith and Walensky, right? I was focused on that to show a, like a famous steakhouse in New York City. And I was trying to find the murals. And I got to this point and RJ's yelling, turn right, turn right. And I ignored him. But if I would have turned right, <laughs> I would have nailed it. I would have nailed it. So, all right, let's get back on track. Oh, thank you, man. Like I said, that's what, one thing I like about these live streams. Look, I got, I got ideas when I turn these things on. But then if I'm in an area where you know of something that you're sure I don't know about, please let me know. That was a great find. All these years living in New York, I've never seen those uh, murals. And to be honest with you, I'm not in this area a lot. Let's get back on track. I'm under, uh, I'm under the, well, I'm on the clock, I should say. If you're just checking this out, I dropped off my son for a bat or a bar mitzvah. And, uh, and I got to get back to him in about maybe a half hour. All right, listen, I got a question for, uh, for people that know about the Jewish faith and bar mitzvahs in general. Uh, how much is a good cash gift? And I'll, I'll uh, average out what people tell me. And then I also want to know something else. A few of our Jewish friends said that no matter what money you give, it should be in increments of 18. My question is this, two-parter. Why increments of 18? I have no idea. And then uh, 18 times what is a good gift for a bar mitzvah? All right, let's figure that out today. 5,300 likes, thank you. I come from a family of firefighters, father and both grandfathers, right on. $180 is coming in, damn. Where do you live, bro? $180. You just... You just cost me a good, uh, you just cost me, I don't know, about a hundred dollars, I think. 
180 is high, right? A lot of LOLs. 118 coming in. I like the 118. But once again, why the increments of 18? There's a significance to that, and I, I simply don't know what it is. What was the address of the firefighter mural? That would be uh, 49th and 3rd Avenue. It's pretty much across the street from Smith & Walensky Steakhouse, which we went uh, very recently for Matt's birthday. My friend Matt, who owns Get Parts, a whole bunch of us went, went there for his uh, 40th birthday and had really a good time. It was a wonderful time. All right, we got stuck in a light. Well, when you get stuck in a light, you should just look up. Early? Yeah, we can get across early. Come on, man, help me out. Why the increments of 18 when you're giving money uh, to someone for their bar mitzvah? You would do 60 max. Yeah, but 60. 18 doesn't divide into 60, though, sir. So it would have to be uh, uh, 54. Or 72. All right. Uh, oh, sidewalk. What's up, brother? Sidewalk stalk. That's a well wish expression in Jewish culture. Culture, excuse me. Chai 18 is a sign of life. That city's a lefty dump. Okay, Uncle. Uncle's trying too hard. I love the guys that try too hard. You're trying too hard. There are some liberal cities out there that are a complete mess. But uh, New York has been able to survive in general. Not a big fan, but we don't have a lot of homeless. The uh, you know crime is absolutely up, but it's still relatively low considering how big the city are is, excuse me, and how it compares to other cities. I ain't giving $360. I think 18 times five. I'm going $90. $90. Thanks, Sidewalk. Good to see you again. All right, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Did I go the wrong way? Ah, oh, man, where am I? Wait a minute, man. Uh, I think we're... Wait a minute, man. I think we're going this way. Six thousand likes. I don't know what that does for real, but thank you. Come on, man. Where am I going now? Oh, there's the Chrysler. Another shot at the Chrysler. You get a better shot where we were. So right below the spire, where it starts to get a little thicker, there's a crawl space up there, and we were in it. And you see the famous, oh my God, this is creepy actually. If you go and watch my video on YouTube, just put in Chrysler and Opie Radio on YouTube, it'll come up. You see the gargoyles that are kind of sticking out of the sides? Moses Malone walked out onto the tip of one of those. To this day, it gives me little jitters and little nightmares thinking of what could have happened. And it was all metal. So I think I could show you something really cool. If you want to stick around, if you don't want to, that's okay too. Yeah, I could show you something cool. It might take me a little longer, but man, I got to get back to my, my son. Uh, let's see. All right. Did he get sent down the river too? I don't know what that means. 
I have no interest in standing on a gargoyle that high up. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding, man. Why am I lost? I haven't been down here in a while. Why am I lost? Um, RJ, help me out. Where's Grand Central Station? I'm lost. Where's Grand Central Station? Grand Central Station? Where's Grand Central Station? Well, uh, Grand Central Station? Okay, thank you, sir. We, we are probably the same uh, Oh, okay. Sadly, I'm not a tourist. I just forgot where it was. Left. All right, RJ's controlling my uh, my live stream. I'm going left. Wait, behind you? Wait. I'm looking at this. Where do I go, RJ? Oh, it is scaffolding scaffolding yes it is uh go to metlife oh can i go through metlife thank you rj's uh controlling the stream hopefully we don't lose the signal in here walk in okay rj's rj's got me walking in sir Where's the where's the Grand Central Station? Oh, thank you. All right, we're on our way. Go straight through. Thank you, RJ Hinners. All right, I'm going to show people that haven't been to New York something really, really cool. Hopefully, the signal will cooperate. You never know when you get in the big building, so bear with me. All right, Grand Central. Terminal. Thank you. Go check out the tennis court above. See, I didn't even know there were tennis courts above. How do you get to the tennis courts? Let's go. Do I just go up these escalators? Grand Central Terminal. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's kind of weird that I'm the only person in here. This usually has a lot of hustle and bustle. I should have done this on a Friday, to be honest with you. I don't know where the tennis courts are. Let me well, let me worry about the. Oh, here we go. Here we go. First thing you see is America. America. Huh? Yeah. They're racquetball, not tennis. Oh, is it pickleball? Dude, this is awesome. I haven't been here in a while. That's the world famous clock straight ahead. And people will say, meet me at the- Your attention, oh, please. All luggage and parcels must be- I'm broadcasting all here. Any items left unattended will be removed by and subject to search by the MTA police. Thank you for your cooperation. How badass is this? I do know something about this mural, by the way. On the ceiling. I think it was done backwards. I think I read that somewhere, that the mural on the ceiling was done backwards. Customers. How badass is that? This is the world. Oh, shut up. I'm broadcasting. This is the world famous clock. And people will say over the years, meet me under the clock when you're trying to find people that are coming into town. The famous clock. Why do you not have a like button? They, Steven, one of my regulars, Steven, they don't trust you with the like button. Are you kidding me? All right, let me go up there, because that looks like, that, that, 
Oh, let me get in on this picture. Oh, I missed it. He didn't wait for me. Let me get up here. This is where people are hanging out, so it's got to be a... You know what, why? Oh, I see. Oh, wait, all right, all right, all right. Oh, no, that's why. They won't let you in on that area. Okay. Figured it all out. Man, that is stunning. Yo, brother man, brother man. Brother man, brother man! <laughs> it's breathtaking, it really is. Where's the whisper area? There's an area, the architect is such that you could go into one corner and whisper and someone could hear your conversation in the other corner. I don't know how we do that if I'm just by myself. So annoyed. <laughs> Creamy Butters, what's up, brother? Another one of my regulars. I like seeing the regulars. Steven's in here with the last name I can't pronounce. He's one of my regulars. RJ Henners is one of my regulars. Pretty Plus More is one of my regulars. Lost Dwarf is one of my regulars. Sidewalk is one of my regulars. Creamy Butters is one of my regulars. See, I, I know the people that uh, support me. Where's the... Uh... All right, RJ. I'm, I'm right here, RJ. Where's the whisper area? Who would smash a starving guy's food? That old gag glitch. That old gag trying too hard not a fan of the people that try too hard stop trying too hard i will do something incredibly stupid that'll be brand new and current and then you'll you can jump on that okay but you're trying too hard trying to pick up uh trying to um bring up something from i don't even know 15 years ago that has been explained ad nauseum i used to think that was ad nausea but it's ad nauseum. Glitch with the nice uh, deflection. I, 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 I wasn't deflecting, I was explaining myself. Who cares how long it was? Well, do you care about the explanation? That it was a radio bit with a guy that we knew very, very well and we took care of? And if he didn't have a problem with it, why do you 15 years later? Guys, ready? Sending him to Block Island. <laughs> Goodbye. All right, where's the whisper room? Does anyone know where the whisper room is? Where's the... Here, let's see the view from this angle. Where's the whisper room? That is a damn good dog right there. Well, doggy. Beautiful. Uh, the Oyster Bar. RJ, I haven't been here in a long time. I don't know where the old Oyster Bar is. Lower level. All right, thank you. Let's go lower level. How do I get to the lower level? Oh, right here. Okay. I love that you guys control where I go. Not all the time. Relax. Look. Lower level. If we lose the signal, let me know. Or that's how this live stream will end. Lower level. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I could have got coffee in here too.
Let's walk through. Oh, I think it's up here, maybe. No, that's to the tracks. Hey, what do you think of Jim and Sam? Um, I would say indifference. I don't think they... Uh, oh, here's the... Uh, okay. Jim and Sam is just a radio show for the people that don't know on Sirius XM that are basically just floundering, not doing much of anything. Um, all right, I'm here. Is this the whisper area? So what do you do? But I need somebody else to hear me, right? Ah, I can't do the whisper thing by myself. I hear the echo, though. All right, this is the whisper area. <laughs> Be loud on purpose. <laughs> I guess if you sit here and talk, then someone in that corner could hear you. See, everyone's trying it out. Everyone's trying it out. Look, see, he's running over there. See, he's like, wait, now say something. So the little kid is going to say something. He's saying daddy right now. And now the guy is uh, talking back. And now the little kid can hear. This is absolutely amazing. It's the Whisper area. It's uh, Grand Central Station right outside the world famous Oyster Bar restaurant. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Chandelier. That's a hell of a chandelier right there. Imagine if that fell down on you. That would hurt. I think that would hurt. For real though, man, you come to New York, Grand Central Station is uh, amazing. I haven't been here in years. Another reason why I um, like live streaming doing the IRL thing is um, I, I'm getting a chance to kind of see stuff in New York that I took for granted a very, very long time ago. I probably haven't been down here in safe to say 10 years. Safe to say. Safe to say. Alright, one more look at the um, RJ, anything else to look at in here? I'll go out uh, from Kansas. Dance Because, I Dance Because is from Kansas. You seem new to my live streams. Ma'am, is there anything else worth checking out here? I checked out the clock, the whisper room, the mural that's upside down. What else is there to, to check out here? You don't want to be recorded? No. But you're in a public space with everybody with their phones. What else can I see over here? The gallery? All right, thank you. And I'm sorry I put you on film. My God. She didn't want to be on film, guys. Here's a look one more time at the mural. Google the mural at Grand Central Station. There really is a story to it. I think, uh, I think it was put on the ceiling backwards or something. Most people don't know that. Most people don't care. I get it. But there's definitely a story to this. And I knew I was coming to Grand Central Station, so you would have thought, hey, Ope, maybe you should have looked up the story for everybody. I know, I know. Oh, I got to start getting back to my, my kid who's at a bar mitzvah. Give me one more uh, look from this vantage point. Hot tamale. Man. I'm taking I'm I'm taking a picture too. Why not? All right. <laughs> I can't stay on her. Look, I, I've, I've been doing street videos for off and on for 20 years. I, I, I kind of know how to do this, and I kind of know when to tap, tap out. Let's just put it that way, okay? <laughs> I, 
I pushed that one. So that's the uh, that's the main concourse. Oh, there she is again. Hi. Sorry. You keep getting in my shots. All right, I gotta go. I'm I'm live streaming to the world. Where are you guys from? Korea. Korea? The good part, right? <laughs> huh? Look, look. Nice, right? They they want to see you. Not they don't want to see that. That's boring. They want to see you. Are you guys visiting? Are, are you guys visiting New York? Yes. Yeah. What have you seen? What have you seen in New York so far? Why are you shy? You're not shy. Look at yeah. you. All right. Enjoy New York City, okay? Thank you. All right. All right. There we go. Oh. Got some giggling. Got some giggling there. The good part, yes. She's very cute. A lot of people getting the selfies. All right, I'm gonna go. Uh, yeah, let me go this way. Guys, I gotta go. I hope this was entertaining to you all. But I got, I got to go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I spent too much time. Oh, you don't care? All right. I gotta go. What are you laughing at? All right. Oh, look at that. Wait, there's a lot of wind, so you know what? Let me uh, let me decline. Can you see the snow? Oh, it's very windy right here. All right, you know what, guys? I'm gonna go. Thanks for checking out my live stream. Greatly appreciate it. If you missed any part of this video. My live streams uh, live on on my YouTube channel, Opie Radio, and on my Facebook, Opie Radio Fans. All my past live streams are there. Uh, the series is called Opie Unleashed in NYC, okay? All right? All right? Oh, that's very artistic. My God, I'm always looking for the artistic shots. My goodness. Another building going up. All right, guys, we'll talk soon. Uh, I think I might do another one tomorrow, and then for MLK, I might do a special walk. We'll see. Uh, hey, Tim McConnell, another one of my regulars. I should have mentioned you in that laundry list of my regulars. And Steven Vigicante <laughs> is one of my regulars. He says, by all, be cool. Sidewalk, thanks again for your help. Sidewalk stalk helps me out. He, he jumps on the Google when I need, need uh, some Googling. All right, guys, have a great weekend. Talk soon.